All right, so I just put together a really quick uh, video, took some snapshots of what I did to make my light bulb here. As you can see, some of the colors going across the porch light here. What I was looking for was for an RGB light that I could actually control with my LOR controllers so that I can control when the colors came on and what, and what colors came on, actually. So this is the light fixture that I have on the front of the house, on the garage and across the porch. Um, as you can see, it's just a regular light. So what I did is I started out with the two-inch test cap, is what it's called. I found it in the plumbing section. I took and cut off that um, the little nub, so it made a nice flat surface here on the top of it. And then what I did, I got one of those plastic child safety plug caps, measured it out so I could get how the distance on that thing, and then I took and cut out holes for those to fit through. Um, try to keep it as centered as possible. And then I took and just super glued it onto that so that they kind of they stuck through. And then what I did is I took a light socket to plug adapter and used that so that I could have the light hang in that socket. So I just took and glued it to that, super glued it and left it to dry overnight. Then I took a some two inch PVC piping took two little sections, one that's an inch and three-eighths and another one that was four and three-eighths and that was the length that I wanted in my light fixture so it worked best. So after I cut them I took and glued the cap to the two inch pipe, just used regular PVC glue. Worked great, hasn't come apart yet. Then I took the small piece and glued it to the top of it. That one was a little bit more tricky making sure that it glued on there right. Um, so it kind of left that little socket down kind of recessed a bit. And then I took and I taped them together to keep it from sliding off because it would slide if I didn't. And then I left it to dry. Then I took a two inch drain, that's pretty much what it is, just a drain, took the sticker off and glued it to the bottom of that pipe section. It's a little hard to see here and we'll come back to reason why here in a minute. Then I took some strip lighting. I used the I think it's the 60 lights per meter. It's got the 300 lights total on the strip. So there's twice as many lights, just from 50 50 regular RGB strip lights, and just wrapped it around the pipe from. I started at the bottom and worked my way all the way up to the top. And then it has the two. The double sided sticky on the back, so it stuck just fine to the, to the pipe. You have to wash it first, make sure all the glue's out, or all the dirt's off it. And then I took and taped the top of it on just to keep it from unraveling um, over time. And then I took four sections of the strip light to get and taped them together. So they're all, all across the bottom there like that. And I took and soldered them all together. Um, I'm not sure if they're all in series or parallel here, but that's how it ended up being soldered with a little bit of a strip on the end. And then I took and glued that to the bottom of the light, which is why I needed that flat drain section on the pipe. I took and glued it, and then I just taped it on, let the glue dry overnight so it wouldn't come off again. And then I just glued the two pieces together, as you can see there at the section on the bottom. Uh, so, that, you know, obviously, you know, and then um, took some silicone, some waterproofing silicone, and just siliconed all the ends and all the exposed wires and solder joints and I just let that dry for a day or two to make sure that it was completely dry and then after that as you can see at the, the light fixture here what I ended up doing to make this work for my case is I actually took the bottom of the light fixture off uh, it just unscrews the glass part there and then I stuck the wire through the top and then put it back on kind of left it slightly loose so that it wouldn't pinch the wire too much so that I could run the wire to the light bulb as you can see kind of going through there one day I may make that wire a little bit more permanent but for right now I'm just using the light bulbs temporarily and not leaving them on all year round um, anyway that's my quick tutorial how I made my RGB light bulbs so that I could control the color and when they came on and off and um, I have it programmed right now as part of my landscaping lights. They come on with the different holidays. Right now it's um, the end of St. Patrick's Day, so they're all green. And then after that, they all turn white until morning 
then they shut off with the with the program. Anyway, hope this helps. Hope you find it useful.